Yo, it's your boy, Straight Boss away from Straight Smoke Gaming. Welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. In this video, we are doing a horse review. Some of my favorite view videos we do for Red Dead Online is reviewing horses. Let me know whether I think they're worth the money to be spent. And this horse is on sale. We're going over the bounty. We're keeping things going with the Bounty Hunter theme this month. Because that's what the bonus money's on. And bonus gold's on. And you can see here, I'm trying to get into the stable. And just when you think Rockstar has fixed the glitch where you get stuck in the stable, no, they don't. There's a picture of my horse's ass, which is kind of how I feel about Rockstar anytime I go to a stable and I can't get in. Okay, so because of that, um, this video was delayed a little bit because it's really annoying. But before we get into the Bounty Hunter Roll Horse, I do want to point out that the Arabians are also on sale, okay? All the Arabians, all three of them, the black, and all of them are on sale as well. Make sure you check the links in the description because I reviewed that entire superior class horse. I talk about all three, the black, the white, and the red, red um, Arabians, okay? So check that video. Those videos, I did several videos on the Arabians. Check those out. They'll be in the description. But let's get into the Breton horse review. Okay, we're talking about the Bounty Hunter Roll Horse. It is the Breton. All classes are on sale. The low tier, which unlock, I think around uh, Bounty Hunter rank 5. And the top one, the Steel Dray one, the, those bottom two, they unlock, I believe, at Roll Bounty Hunter Roll 20. Okay, but we're going with the Seal Brown. Okay, all of the horse reviews that we do here on the channel we go with top tier horses okay and i decided to go against that we're going to go with mid tier we're going to go with that bounty hunter rank 10 that you unlock the mid tier horses we're going with the seal brown which is a sharp looking horse you can see here i'm putting on bad stirrups and a very beginner saddle lovely ranch saddle i'm going to speed this up Okay, I've done this before. Every time I review a horse, I want to see what it's starting, stamina, how long is this going to last, even with a bad saddle on. I always do start with a bad saddle because how I bond up a horse is because you're riding it around. With a bad saddle, you're going to have to feed it more, okay, which means you're going to be bonding it up faster. So here we're going from the Dewberry Creek stable, and I'm trying to get the Valentine, and I make it about halfway. Okay, now it doesn't really matter to put a bad saddle on so you have to feed the horse more because this right here is the top way to bond up your horse and the fastest way to bond up your horse. And it doesn't matter what saddle. If you have a good saddle, go ahead and put it on it, okay? Because you need to lead the horse, okay? You don't need to ride the horse to bond it up. You can see here the stamina bar is going up, okay? And you see here, bonding level three, we're almost topped out. Okay, I wanted that stamina bar around this mid-tier horse to go up more from rank from bonding level one or bonding level two to three. Did not go up as much as I desired. That kind of sucks for the seal brown mid-tier horse for the bounty hunters. You can see here we hit the bonding level four. So I go back and I do that test, testing its endurance and speed. You know, after we hit bonding level four, and I make it to Valentine from the Dewberry Creek stable, no problem at all. You got to use that left stick trick there, you know, to help replace some of the, you know, every 30, 25 seconds, you could press down on the left stick and you get, you gain back some of that stamina bar, which will help you, you know, go ahead. And then after you're bonded up, I go ahead and put. All these horses in this race have the Nakadusha saddle with hooded stirrups. So they all get that bonus. You know, you you know, it started out as a speed of five and acceleration of a three. Now that white Arabian has a eight and a eight, okay, which is a mid-tier Arabian. That's the mid-tier Arabian. And I'm going against Jake Cut over there, the Great Breton that he calls it. Okay. That has a speed of nine and acceleration of seven, I believe. So I know I'm not going to win this race. I'm going against a top tier horse in the Great Breton, the top uh, Breton. 
I do kind of hang tough with that White Arabian, which is another mid-tier horse, but the the acceleration is just down, okay? And the I just think there's better roll horses than the Breton. I'm not I'm not, you know, saying the Breton sucks. It does not suck. The Breton is a good horse. I just think there's other roll horses that are better. And I know it's a really popular horse, and it's a good horse. Even this mid-tier, Seal Brown, very pretty horse. It can perform just fine. It's a good horse. But I just think there's better options out there for different, for other roles and their horses. All right, here's the end clip there. Funny clip while I was bonding it up, and I take it on the chin from a deer. All right, guys, make sure you check out the links in the description for other videos.